uh, maxi crop. It's a seaweed extract with, with, oh, iron, yeah, with iron. And, uh, and that's because, something that's not made necessarily just for aquaponics. It's, it's not made necessarily, yeah. Okay. It, 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 it can be used in all kinds of uh, uh, gardening. Yeah. Uh, but it is fish thing, so yeah. that's the great thing. It's seaweed. And it doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have any salt in it, so it's not going to have salt in the system. Yeah. So what's this thing back here? What's, what's uh, going on there? Well, this is set up for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're making a, um, a, a, a tabletop mini aquaponics system so that we can, for this place, for education purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm working on a DVD that yeah. for like middle school and up, That's geared toward cool. middle school and up to um, simply explain aquaponics um, and the history of aquaponics, which it does have a history, um, but um, it dates back to the time, yeah, when ancient China when they grew rice and rice paddies, and they still do. Yeah. So that's a symbiotic relationship wow. right there. Um, so I'm working on a DVD that we can provide schools with along with the tabletop system. Yeah, that's, that's you know, down the road, I think that would be, that would be uh, uh, something I think we would be interested in to have over at the Mowbray House as a starting point. Yeah. You know? to find the starting point. Yeah. Where do you hook the imagination or the yeah. curiosity as you right. as an educator know? The, the bottom of this will be our fish tank and the okay. top will be a floating rat bed. Yeah. And, and, and so, and then, of course, the net pots will sit in the floating ramp bed. And then we have the lid, the snap-on lid, so that we can travel with it. So we can take take the stuff out yeah. and travel with it and yeah. see what else. See, Ron, everything takes forever to either a decision to be made or to be able to get the money or or um, to sell them on something. I mean, we. We had so many plans last year, and, and most of them we were able to push through because we did the work. Yeah. We didn't ask them to do the work. Um, and, it, didn't and came out, it didn't come out of anybody's line. Right, right, exactly. And, um, and, they, and they got it done, and, and there were a few things that we, like the window gardening, and there's a couple of things that we have been talking about that we're going to do this year mm -hmm. that we didn't get to do last year. I've um, seen the window gardening. It's where they hang the, yeah. the bottle yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. So I've seen that. We on the drive over here, we were talking about that. So work on that this summer and try and get that going. And that can be done in cities, people who live yeah. in apartments. Yeah, I've seen very, them hanging outside. Very cool. Windows like huge, like in New York City. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's I think we're all going to have to start thinking outside of the box and get more creative yeah. because uh, resources could become scarce. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we actually... Uh, one of our passions is to eventually build a dome home and, and uh, funnel the water off of the off of the home to, to create a, a aquaponics aqu around the perimeter uh, like uh, with the grow beds going out. Like a a mode. Mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, we'll, of course, we'd have pigs, and I know we'd have goats and yeah. chickens Actually, and fruit trees. That is so funny. Bees, uh, rooftop, and beehive. There are uh, two, two simple resources you might mention. Is, uh, the, you, you know the Dandelion Cafe? Yeah. yeah. Julie yeah. Norris, who yeah. is the owner of the co proprietor. Okay, well, she's, an, she's a good friend. And so one of our slants to them is we want to put one of these as a show and tell, and then we want you to want to supply you with some of the, the plants. They're not going to do the fish because of their bacon. Your vegan, yeah, you know, yeah. But uh, and then there's a lady in Philadelphia who just sold her. She is huge. I mean, this is a woman who started a restaurant called the White Dog Cafe. Mm -hmm. You know that? Oh, yeah. It's right across from the creek right, corner. On the right there, corner. yeah. Well, Judy Wicks and I, I, I I'm a, I'm a semi-retired old clergy, and so Judy and I were buddies 30 years ago doing social justice issue things in Philadelphia. But she is in sustainability off the, off the wall, and she sold her restaurant because now she just wants to finish her book. But in terms of networking and understanding what's going on, mm -hmm. uh, she, I've got a picture of a farmer in my files 
that was supplying her pork. And Judy Wicks was just irate about caged in pork, the pork mm -hmm. industry. Yes. Where the, the pigs don't, uh -huh. they, they, they lose their legs because all they do is stand in one place. Yeah. Like in their chickens. So she found a farmer out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, who had free range pigs. Oh. And so she would only supply uh, that's and then she started a campaign in Philadelphia, don't buy any pork unless buy it from this guy. This is an issue for her. Good for her. For mm -hmm. for her. That was Good her passion, you see. So she went to her supplier, this old this wonderful farmer, and said, Well, why aren't you bring more? He says, I don't have enough I, I have a small truck. Judy got her checkbook out and handed him a $14,000 check and says, go get the bigger truck so you can supply more restaurants in Philadelphia uh, with uh, your product that is yeah. growing better. Huh? And then she said, Wouldn't yeah. it be fun to be independently wealthy to do things mine. like that? Yeah. That's yeah. Well, well, no, yeah. They don't support uh, people like that. You can imagine. Well, but Judy, Judy could be approached. I mean, if you're putting a seminar together and talking about global sustainability. Mm -hmm. What's her name, Judy? Judy Wicks. Would you write that down, Christian Judy? And then use my name because I told her I'm going to Orlando, so I I get down here three.